system respiratory system skeletal system muscular system circulatory system nervous system excretory system reproductive system in that digestive system this is a model of human digestive system in this we have mouth food pipe liver stomach gallbladder pancreas small intestine large intestine rectum so in digestive system breaks down the food in mouth the food enter to the food pipe and it will be reaches stomach here breaks it will be food will be breaks down and move to your intestine so intestine it will be taking nutrients so it will nutrients will be take intestine then it will be waste removes from rectum so this is a digestive system next respiratory system so in our respiratory system oxygen so you have lungs two lungs in our body so this one is a right legs lungs and left lungs so this one is your right lungs and left lungs in our chest so down in your thin muscular organ so in your down lungs down your thin muscular organ that one you call it a diaphragm so you breathe in nose this one is a nose so you breathe in nose and that breath air will be moving from your trachea and it will be moving to your lungs so you breathe in oxygen so it will be full of air next breathe out carbon dioxide so you this is a model of lungs here one lungs this one only lungs so it will be um, balloon i fitted with balloon so down this one is a diaphragm so this is a half balloon cut and fitted so this one is a trachea trachea pipe so balloon you push the balloon so you can see so you see lungs will be expanding you can see you breathing breathe out breathing breathe out breathing breathe out so you can oxygen in in your air so you have takes oxygen and remove carbon dioxide from the body so takes oxygen and removes carbon dioxide from the body next skeletal system skeletal system support support our body and protects internal organs support our body and protect internal organs next muscular system allows movement of the body so muscular system you are allow movements of the body circulatory system circulatory system transport food waste and gases it will be transport food waste and gases nervous system nervous system regulates your behavior it will be regulating your behavior and control function of the internal organs it will be controlling functions of the internal organs excretory system excretory system removes waste from the body it will be removing waste from the body reproductive system reproductive system produces new babies it will be producing babies or produces of spring so children today we learn about skeletal system and nervous system next skeletal system skeletal is a framework of our body skeletal is a framework of our body see children this one is a human skeletal model this is a human skeletal model made up of plastic this one is made up of plastic so it consists of skull backbone rib cage and limbs skull 
backbone, rib cage, and limbs. So this is a skeletal model. So it supports our body. Skeletal supports our body and protect internal organs. A newborn baby has 300 bones. A newborn baby has 300 bones and they fuse together after the growth of a baby. To be fusing, bones will be fused together after the growth of a baby. And adults' bones will be 206 bones. Adult have 206 bones. An adult have 206 bones. So now let's move on to the skull. The skull has 22 bones. The skull has 22 bones. The upper part of the skull has head bones. The upper part will be head bones and it will be hard and it protect our brain. It will be brain. This is a brain model. You see, this is a brain model. So it will protect by a skull. It protect our internal organ by skull like a helmet. So brain, it will be protected skull. No? It will be enclosed by element, helmet. So it will be enclosed by helmet. Brain is a uh, delicate organ. So brain will be a delicate organ. So it will be protected by the skull. Enclosed by like a helmet. So it will be like a helmet, it will be enclosed and protected by skull. So, next face region. So, in our face region, 14 bones present in our face region. Face region it will be 14 bones in that only lower jaw can move. The lower jaw. Only lower jaw can move. So, you can do it. Only lower jaw can move. So, it, this enables us to speak. We can eat. Only this one, lower jaw, it will be moving. Upper part, it will be hard and it will be fixed. Okay, children. Next, we move on to backbone. Backbone. It is skull is attached to the backbone. Backbone is 33 butterfly shaped bones called vertebrae. It protects the spinal cord. This backbone is also called it as vertebral column or, or the spine. Next we move on to rib cages. Rib cages contain, consist of 12 pairs of 12 pairs of curved shaped bones. Rib cages they will be curved shaped bones. They will be called as ribs. 12 pairs of shape bones is there that one you call it as ribs so here ribs they will be attached back to the spine and breast bone to the breast bone to the front so it will be lower two bones they will be attached to the back that one you call it as floating ribs they will be called it as floating ribs these rib cages encloses the heart and lungs. They will be protected from the heart and lungs. Any injuries will be undergone, so they will be protected by uh, heart and lungs by rib cages. Next, we move on to limbs. So, arms and legs we call it as limbs. So arms are attached to shoulder bone. So, arms will be attached to your shoulder. Bone. Upper arm. This one is the upper arm. That one is called it as humerus. That is the long, upper arm is a long bone. That one is called it as humerus. Lower arm. Lower arm has two bones. So lower arm and upper arm meets in elbow. Here this one is elbow. So lower arm and upper arm they will be meets in elbow. Small small bones made up of wrist and hand. Small small made of bones made up of wrist and hand. Next, there will be thigh bone or femur. So, thigh bone or femur they will be attached to hip bones. So, the hip bones they will be attached to thigh bone or femur. 